Big thanks to Bluefin Distribution for sending this one out. Check them out and links to buy in the description. Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, Collector Steven here, and welcome to another Marvel figure review, where today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Hulk Avengers Assemble Edition. Oh, yeah. So, I was first kind of in between for Hulk, because on paper, alternate hands, alternate heads, big green meanie, 90 bucks. Ooh, that's going to be a tough pill to swallow, isn't it? And then I open him up. And then he's pretty good. So if you are on the fence, yeah, I think I will hopefully be able to guide you with this review because, yeah, you're going to need a Hulk. And this might be the one for you. So let's take a look to see whether or not Hulk here is worth adding into your collection. One thing that I found interesting about the MCU as it has gone on is that, yes, we did start with Ed Norton as the Hulk, and then it switched over to Mark Ruffalo. And what's pretty cool is that as the Hulk has appeared in more movies, he's slowly taken on the appearance of a green Mark Ruffalo. Here, <laughs> if you're not particularly a fan of your giant, uh, I guess Lou Ferrigno, uh, looking like Mark Ruffalo, this is a fantastic balance between just having a general Hulk Face. He doesn't quite look like Ruffalo 100%, but at the same time, he kind of looks and blends in very well with some of the more comic book looks that we have seen uh, throughout the history of the character. And this one not only sort of has that nice generic Hulk look to the face, which is very accurate to the source material of the movie, the rest of the figure looks great as well. Now, for this one, Tamashii Nations really had a very, very easy shot at making a good looking figure, and that's kind of what they did here. We have green and we have purple. Of course, there are a couple of minor paint apps here and there, like the need for red in the mouth or the digital printing for the eyes and some of the details on the face. But realistically speaking, there wasn't a whole lot to really try and get right here, and Bandai essentially nailed it all. We do have some great shading on the actual skin of the Hulk, which looks very good. It helps to bring out the really well-sculpted muscles. Seeing this in hand, you take a look at it and you're able to see the veins and you're able to see some of the finer details for the muscles. Very good. We do also have chest hair. Really nice touch there on that one. I wasn't actually expecting that until I actually saw a promotional picture with some of the other Avengers Assemble figures. Overall, Hulk looks great. Something that I didn't notice until in hand, and I was actually looking at it, you'll notice that on the shorts for the Hulk, there are little green patches where it looks like his skin is showing. What it looks like they did there is they just took a sculpt for the Hulk and actually popped it in place there. So it's kind of like a patch, which is actually executed rather well. That illusion only breaks up when you're looking at it up close, at least to me anyway. Overall, Hulk does look good. Your personal preference may vary based on your own opinion of the character. Hulk's articulation is actually really good. I was not expecting what I would essentially find to be the same uh, for the DBZ figure arts here for Hulk. So if you want a nicely articulated Hulk, this is going to be the one to get because we do have a ball joint where the heads will plug in because you do have alternate head sculpts and it is going to be on a barbell style or double axis ball joint. So we have some good movement here for Hulk. Turn his head, rock it, get him to look up. Oh, yeah, we have a ball jointed neck. So this way we can really get Hulk to look up about that far, down about that far, even cock his neck from side to side. So that's a really good joint system there. Hulk's arms are going to plug into the shoulders on a ball joint, so this way you can spin them around, raise them, and lower them. And there's also going to be a hinge, which this part of the sculpt does cover up a bit. And we actually, depending on the movement, have great range of movement on that hinge, which is good. Now, something to keep in mind, we do have a bicep swivel as well. However, based on the ball joint system here in the shoulders, uh, you may actually end up just moving the entirety of the arm instead at the shoulder. So just something to keep in mind. Not really an issue, just, you know, hey, for points of articulation, you can really move Hulk's arms around. And we do have double hinge elbows. We get about that much movement out of them. Now for the wrists, we are going to have barbell style ball joints once more. Plugs into the forearm and into the hand. Very good. And we get some nice range of movement. Very good. Now he does come with an alternate set of hands which have articulated fingers. So pretty cool. So we're going to have three fingers 
on a hinge and then another finger on a hinge, okay? And then the thumb is gonna be on a ball joint. Now, I would assume this would be for him to be able to grasp and hold Loki, um, like he did in the Avengers and throw him around. Uh, I don't have a Loki figure to do that, but I mean, you know, Deadpool I think is a fine enough uh, substitute, so hey, that will work. Now, I didn't miss this part because I wanted to show you, now that we have all of the arm articulation completed, we do have butterfly hinges which blend in, I would say, rather nicely with the sculpt, and we do get some good range of movement. Now, if you're familiar with some of the Dragon Ball figure arts, we do have uh, the likes of, let's say, Jiren, where this sort of floats around on a ball joint. This does not seem to be the case here, so it seems to be just true by the nature uh, butterfly hinge, which moves out about that far, so this way Hulk can bring his arms a bit closer together. He is going to have a ball joint for the ab crunch, which Turning from side to side on this particular unit is rather tight, but forward and back is just fine. I don't really have to worry about turning from side to side, though, because we do have a hinge and ball joint system. You could even see the hinge screw there poking uh, its little head out there, uh, which allows Hulk to move and twist and turn in all sorts of different directions. So, yeah, realistically speaking for the torso, fine enough movement. For the hips, we are going to be using the renewal style figure arts hip joints, so they're going to feature double swivels, and they can kick out that far back and that far forward. Uh, Hulk can do the splits, no issues, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, this part of the pants is actually made of harder plastic, so it's rather difficult to push this any farther forward, just something to keep in mind. Now, we do have a thigh swivel here works rather well, and we do have double hinge knees, which have that much range of movement. Cool. For the ankles, we are going to have whew, a swivel which plugs into the bottom of the leg, an ankle, and then a swivel that plugs into the foot, giving us fantastic range of movement there. He can put his foot basically pointing directly down, up about that far. Obviously, we do have a toe hinge that goes up about that. Ankle rocker movement there. As a matter of fact, we can actually just spin the whole foot around, which is very cool. So for articulation, uh, Hulk is fantastic. If you are looking for a very well-articulated Hulk, this is going to be the one to get. I mean, there are some poses he can't quite hit just because of a limit to the range of movement, but yeah. I mean, if you, if you need something more than this, um, I don't know where you're going to find it. Hulk moves really well. Accessories time, and we can get short, sweet, and to the point. He's going to come with one, I would call it roaring head sculpt, one um, particular type of consumption grin, and he's going to come with two alternate sets of hands. So for the alternate head sculpts, I would say that for the roaring head sculpt, there needs to be a little bit more white on the top row of teeth, unless that's what the gums look like, then hey, overall, that head sculpt is fine. No issues there. And then, of course, we do have the <clears throat> eating grin face, and great. I mean, this is pretty snarky. It does remind me when Cap says Hulk smash, and that's sort of the grin that we get. So, hey, good on you for that one. Now, for the alternate hand parts, we are going to get traditionally splayed hands, which is good. That's what I saw in the box. Then I saw a promotional picture with Black Widow and Hawkeye where I saw that Hulk had joints in his hands. What? I already covered these, but shouldn't be a surprise to you at this point. I did not know that they were going to include hands with articulated fingers, which are pretty good. Like I did make mention, I do believe this is so this way he can hold Loki, but I don't have a Loki, so I can't do that. But you saw him with Deadpool. I've already repeated myself. But anyway, overall, for what we are going to get here with the Hulk, uh, they basically included the essentials. The only other thing that I could think of is maybe them including a neutral face with no expression whatsoever. Though I do believe that is going to be found in the Endgame Hulk, which is going to be more so a green Mark Ruffalo, but hey, it is what it is. Now, Hulk smashes. He causes fire, explosions, impact craters, so on and so forth. So if you do need accessories or you want them, maybe support stands as well, you know I have videos to help you out there. Now, am I saying that they needed to include this here? No, but it would be cool if they did a DX version where we had a special Tamashi Effect impact to go along with him. Now let's go ahead and move on over to a size comparison where you can see this is one big boy and he does scale in just well with the other Avengers figure arts you may have or with some other companies if you're looking to get a nice Hulk. So buy now, skip or wait for a deal. When I take a look at the Avengers or the MCU figure arts, I always think to myself, hmm, is this one really going to be worth it? The reason why I ask that is, well, there are several other companies on the market, and do you really want to go there, or do you want to come here? What I do think that this Hulk does a really good job at nailing home for the overall idea for the SH figure arts Marvel characters is that this Hulk in particular is not only a rather accurate Avengers Hulk, 
but also blends in well with pretty much any of the other designs for any other comic book Marvel characters you are going to have. So if you are looking for a default vanilla Hulk, congratulations, this is going to be the one that you want to get. Having other figures, yeah, I mean, this is great. Articulation is great. Paint detail is great. So you're going to be spending about 90 bucks and you are going to get a significant return on investment because you won't need to go elsewhere unless you want to. Now, if you're kind of lukewarm, I would say that this is probably the best starting point for the Marvel figure arts because this one is really good and it's my favorite of all the ones I've reviewed so far. Yes, even Doctor Strange, which had accessories out the wazoo. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you. So if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch. So definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.